imagine if all the trash we throw out were to be piled up, how tall would it be? We probably will be talking about pyramids of death by now and the stench would be unbearable. Thankfully, we don't have it piling up and we are able to dispose some of them properly and some of them creatively. You are wondering what I mean. You're welcome to another episode of Burning Stars where we showcase rare and never been seen talent in Nigeria. Remember, we bring you ordinary people ordinarily doing extraordinary things. I am Kendi Bashir. In this episode, we will be speaking with an artist with a difference. You want to know this artist? Do stay tuned. I am at Ogunjabi Street, Father in Lagos, with an exceptional artist who takes care of waste in a creative way. Now, the debt that would have been piled up and overwhelmed us has now been creatively used by this man in such a way it has created and occupied a place of pride in our galleries, offices, houses, museums, and so on. Now, come along with me as we go know more about this unique artist with an environmental touch. My name is Matthew Yedele. I'm from Abeokuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. Alright, I'm a visual artist, art historian, and art critic. So, as a visual artist, I work with discarded aluminium materials by giving them fresh purposes and fresh life. So, I engage these materials by subjecting them to different processes, which includes cutting, washing, squeezing folding, painting, and many other processes because the flexibility and physicality of these materials gives me the liberty to actually explore these materials and expand on different ideas, so thereby making the materials to say different things in different ways. When I discovered my talent, I would say it started in 2008. Though in secondary school, I was one of the best students in fine arts, but those ones were just <laughs> for school sake. But in 2008, I, while I was a newspaper vendor, I had a friend, his name is Dakbo. So we were selling newspaper together. So it got to a point that was stopped coming. I didn't see him again, so I called him and he told me he had enrolled at an art shop as an apprentice. And I was like, this is what I love doing, can I join you? So he said he would take me there. So I went there myself. I went to meet the boss that I would like to learn. They just looked at me and laughed. <laughs> this is not how to do it. You go and bring your parents. So the next day, I called my mom. Let's go. We went there. So that was how I started. And I started learning. It was while I was there, we started working with beverage cans. Coke, Fanta, Malta, Guinness. We kept cocking and experimenting and doing lots of things. But in that process, I, I wasn't paying attention, sincerely, because I love playing football. I would leave the shop, I would go and play football then. And, but I was actually observing everything that was going on in the shop. On weekends, I would not go to the shop, I would be at home. I had told my siblings to be picking cans for me. So I would be cutting the cans, be exploring on my own. So that was how I kept learning and learning. So until I got to school, and I, when I got to school, I saw that in the art department, every student was looking for something unique. Every student wanted to have an identity. Every student wanted to do something that is different from the other person. So when I looked inward, I saw that nobody was actually doing anything like can. So I said, well, I could do this. So I picked my cans in school. I started working on it. So as a 200 level, I made a portrait of a Bafemi Awolo with cans. And one of the mass communication students then saw it and he said, oh, I would like to publish, publish this in one of the dailies. I thought he was joking. Came to my room, dropped the tab before me, asked me some questions, I answered. And some days later, I saw myself on the pages of a newspaper. The only thing that was actually convenient for me, not that convenient, I was close to something I could sit all day to do would be to explore these cans beverage cans. So that was why I actually started exploring this one. My art says a lot 
I don't streamline myself to one particular line and say it's what I want to be saying. My, if you look at my works, you see that my works have a lot of things. There are some that talks about migration. So this is the, a migrant who, after returning home, he was isolated because he didn't bring back goodies. Some that talks about identity, some talks about my childhood experiences, some talks about journey and a lot of things. Like I said, migration, identity, social commentaries, human relationship, and so on. Oh, well, my choice of career being an artist and an art writer has actually affected my life in a lot of ways. I don't know if I should define some as positive and some as negative, but I've made some moves. <laughs> I've sustained lots of injuries, lots and lots of them. I could remember a time when I was trying to beat the panel with nail and hammer. I hit my fingers with hammer. So lots of things, then cans have caught my hands lots of times. Opportunities come in different ways. So, and seeking out opportunities, I make use of my social media. That's number one. First, when I want to look out for call for entries for artists, Instagram is the first place. That's exactly why I'm on Instagram. Yeah, for that. Then, when it comes to media opportunities, Twitter is the place. So when it comes to building communities, Facebook is for me. But seeking out opportunities, I see them a lot on Instagram. Then I go on Google to search for fully funded art residences where you are giving grants to actually come to different country. I mean, any other country that you select, if they accept your proposal, you come and present your works, they accommodate you to give you the fund for like a month or two to come and do your practice. So opportunities are, are everywhere. Sometimes my works are spontaneous, sometimes they are pre-planned. In the sense that sometimes I pick a panel, I don't even know what to do. So I just flow with the moment. I can stay at the panel for hours then the idea will come, I will start working. But sometimes I would have the title before I start. I will have the idea before I start. So I pick my panel, I make the sketch, then I keep going. There should be a platform where you actually give more attention because you have to groom the young ones coming behind you. So to young and emerging artists and tell them, okay, you guys are the future of this thing. This is what we are doing for you. You should have a program for them in that association. I hope to see myself on the biggest stage of art. Like, you know, I'm in the biggest stage exhibiting at BN House, BN House, Documenta, biggest galleries. Lots of endorsements, lots of partnerships. Yeah, that's that's where I see myself, and that's that's actually the goal. I'm moving around, and I see cans on the streets or in the environment. I get the nylon, I buy. When I pick the cans, I keep them. And then before I use them for my work, it's actually my own way of reducing waste from the environment. Now you've heard from the art genius, Matthew Oyedele. Now it's time for us to hear from an environmental expert. You go to um, some um, art galleries, you see some of this work here, beautiful. Uh, so I think it's, it's lovely. If you can have more people that will do that, it's very good. Uh, it's going to read the environment of um, um, waste. Because then the plates, the cans, the plastic bottles, uh, waste materials, they are one of the greatest pollution um, to the environment. And so if we have uh, people who can take them off the road, of our uh, gutters, of um, um, our environment and convert them. In, um, in environmental science, we call that um, upcycling. So that is um, converting waste materials to other arts and crafts, which is very good. So when we can have more people doing that, it's going to reduce the amount of waste we have that data everywhere. This one talks about a lady who 
was raped, abused, beaten and insulted. That's why you see footprints stepping on her face here. So this talks about a lady who watched her value leaving her body while she was being raped. I used this footprint to represent her value and you could see that she's looking at this side. So there are actually four series but I have three here. So this is uh, a migrant who after returning home he was isolated because he didn't bring back goodies. So this, that's why you have footprints stepping away from him. So he had to be sitting alone in isolation. So this one talks about my name. Life is not all about finding yourself. It is about creating yourself. Just like the story of Matthew Oedeli, whose artwork has not only have an impact on the environment, but he has been able to create himself in the art industry. Indeed, Matsi Oedele is a star. And that's all we can take on Body Stars. I hope you had an amazing time watching. Please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at All News Nigeria. Subscribe, like, and drop a comment for us on the comment section. I still remain your host, Kendi Bashir. Thanks for watching. Bye.